Good morning. Bit of a different outlook this morning. I am actually recording at just before 7 a.m. Thursday morning because I want to free up some time this afternoon because I need to do another video. Busy, busy. Anyway, hello, welcome. Jenny from In My Spare Time Crochet. You know that if you're clicking on this video because it's mostly people that are either participating in the cal or just following along. So this week, everybody was working on blossoming fields. This one here, I did mine in the red. I think I said at the end of last week's video, I didn't really, I didn't love this one. Yeah, I just didn't love it. I think it was because of maybe, I, and again, I've mentioned it before, I don't love doing popcorn stitches. They can be a little hard to pull through at times. Um, now, for the most part, <clears throat> from what I've read in the Facebook group, I think most people were sort of of the same opinion as myself in not really loving it. However, Sally from Nanny Moon's Crochet, I know you quite enjoyed it. I watched your video yesterday. That's great. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Sal. That's fantastic. <laughs> For everyone else, I think mostly it was, uh, I think some people just don't really like doing the rows. Uh, some people don't like when you have to come and pick up the stitches to do the border. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some people just prefer, as I said, working in rounds. So anyway, we're done. We're done for week 11. 11? Oh my gosh, they're just going so fast. No. Yes. Yes, that was week 11. I'm all over the shop. Uh, okay. So week 11 done. Let's pop into our little so slideshow and see everybody's makes. We have a few people um, catching up, so I'm going to share their squares as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. We had a lot of the same color this week with people uh, following a very similar color palette to what's in the book. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just totally doing my own thing with my seven colors, but I'm very happy with how it's all coming together. As I mentioned in last week, I'm thinking, I'm really feeling like I want to make a bag at some point. So yeah, we're just gonna see how we go. That may end up being with my squares that have ended up to, to be a little larger than the others, but we will see. Um, okay, now square 12, our second last square for the spring collection. It's another intermediate level pattern and it is French garden. Really, really pretty. This one, working in the round, so that will please many of you. Um, now this one, it's really funny given that I don't like charts and I've never really used them. However, again, in this one, I found myself uh, gravitating to the chart rather than um, the written instructions. However, whatever works, you know, combination of both is always good. 
Um, here is my French garden. So the, not at all like the book, as in the colour palette. However, I'm very, very happy with it. I, I'm not going to say I loved this one, but I didn't, I didn't hate it. And I do think it's very, very pretty. So yeah, French garden. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I do think, what have I got to say about that? I do think the chart is helpful. Yep. That's what I have to say about that. It was certainly helpful for me. So <clears throat> there we go. Can you believe it? It's, um, I feel like it's, it's gone quite quickly. So we have after French garden, we have one more golden halo, which was one of the ones that I did pattern test for Kylie. So I have made one of these before and I really liked it. So I'm actually looking forward to doing that one. And then we're going to be moving on to summer. So really changing it up. No more flowers. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to some of those squares as well. So uh, another reminder, just quickly, if you are starting to make some projects with your squares, please feel free to uh, send them in and you too can be like Beck and feel like a celebrity. <laughs> Oh, goodness, that made me laugh. <laughs> that really made me laugh. Thank you, Beck. Um, yes, but anyway, uh, and also please let me know if you are just, um, I guess, following along quietly at home, making, the, making them yourself, not sending a picture in or anything. Um, I just love to know because I know that a lot of people have the book, so there has to be some of you out there that are just, you know, quietly going about your business yourself. But I would love to know if you're doing that. Okay, that's it for now because I need to get sorted and go to work. Hmm, I'd rather sit here all day, I can assure you. But anyway, um, that's it for this week's video. I will see you, hopefully um hopefully friday with my next free pattern roundup video so oh, there's just never enough hours in the day is there so anyway that's it i'll see you soon thank you for being here and i will see you next time bye for now